Hey, Skylar here from Change You Can Wear. Today we're gonna to be making a really awesome Valentine's gift idea for you guys. It's going to be a stacker signet style ring. It's going to be made out of 14 karat rose gold and it'll have champagne diamonds in the top. And if that wasn't cool enough, we're gonna be fishtail French cutting these stones in. All right, let's get making this thing. And now we're down to the right thickness, which is great. So what we need to do now is mark our shape of our signet ring in here. And I'm gonna go with about a 1.8 millimeter ring shank and then about two and a quarter millimeters for the flat top up here. That's about all I want. So we're gonna mark that all out and then we're going to cut it out. All right, so now we have our rough shape all marked out in the wax on both sides. So what we're going to do now is carve it out. And then we're going to, well, let's do this. Let's just start by carving out this top and then we'll make our top marks, make sure everything's good and even when we're done. So we'll do that first. We'll cut the top down first and then make the curves on the side to make sure everything's good and even. hard to see, but our curvy lines are all made now. So now we're gonna cut it the rest of the way out, just like we did the top. is all carved out. Now we need to get this ring invested and ready to cast. And so the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna connect this guy, and I already started doing it actually, you can see. I forgot I wasn't filming, so I had to take it back off. We're gonna connect this guy to this base so that we can make a mold of it. And what we're gonna connect it with is this, this sprue wax. And what we're going to do is fold this thing in half and then twist it up. And now we're gonna connect this to a ring and connect the whole thing to the base. This is going to create a channel that the gold can flow to the ring through. And that's the purpose of this. So let's get it all melted together and then connect it to our ring and to our base.
right, so now we're all ready to cast. We have our ring all sprued up on the base and we're gonna go ahead and make this mold, get it invested. Let's go. It's all invested. So now what we need to do is let it sit for about two hours. And then once that's hardened, we can throw it in the oven. And then we'll let it cook overnight and then we'll let it burn out all the waxes in there. And then in the morning, we'll be ready to throw some rose gold into it. All right, so now we have our ring all cleaned up, and what we need to do now is start to take our stones and lick them and stick them on the top of this thing upside down, and that'll get our layout all the way we want it. Once we mark that layout with a scribe, we will start to drill holes and use a bulber to open those holes up, and then once they're open up almost all the way to the size, we will go ahead and use a setting burr to make our seats for the stones. All right, let's get to it.
right, now we have all of our seats cut to the right size of our stones and we're ready to start the next step. These holes are really, really even and that's what needs to be when we're doing a fishtail French cut. Every little step that we do from here on out has to be like exacting or you'll see a really obvious difference in the fishtails that we're gonna be creating. So it's just a word of warning for you guys as we go forward into this. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our surgical razor blade and start laying out our prongs on the side in the top and bottom area of our where our French cut's gonna start and stop. And once we have all that laid out, we'll start cutting. I wanted to get in nice and tight right here so that way I can show you guys what's next. So now we're going to start cutting some dips in the side of this with a stick burr. And we're gonna cut it to where the hole touches either side of this line and the bottom one that we drew. So that way the holes are gonna be identical all the way across the entire piece. So now what we need to do is make some lines from those middle of the holes we just created to the middle of the prong on this bottom line and make these little V's that are gonna go all the way down the length of this thing. And that is the outline we're going to use to cut that fishtail French cut all the way down. All right, so now the time has finally come to take our square graver. It's gonna be a 120V square graver, and we're gonna start cutting our triangles in. This is the most exciting part of the French cut, and if you do it right, it looks amazing, and if you do it wrong, it, it, it doesn't. <laughs> so hopefully we do it right. Now we have all of the French cut part of this thing done. So now what we need to do is start setting our stones. So what we need to do now is see how the prongs are now starting to look almost individual, but we have a couple more things we gotta do. So we gotta cut down the middle with the stick burr to separate them, and then get our stones in there and then start splitting them, and then we'll bead them into little nice round balls. And then polish it up and we'll be finished. Man, I absolutely love the way the rose gold mixes with the color of the champagne diamonds in this piece. Check out my website, changeyoucanwear.net. This ring should be currently available up there. And really appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to my channel also. Make sure you see all the cool videos that are coming up here in the future. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.